Hello, my name is Leo, and welcome back to Metal Solid Peace Walker. We are now in the final level. I've unlocked it. We're in the main, like, menu here because I want to show you the, you know, the dialogue that happens. So, without any further ado, let's jump in. Oh. Right. <laughs> Press the right button. Alright, let's go. Get back in there. Get back in there, shit. Okay. It, uh, happened again, Snake. Oh, Sadornov? What's he got, an escape fetish? He clearly has friends on the inside, but we've got no way of knowing who. <sighs> Persistent bastard, I'll give him that. Where is he this time? That's the thing. He must have found and gotten rid of the transmitter. We've got no idea where he is. Snake, think you can find him? We can't just let him run around. Makes us look bad. I'll say. Since we can't locate him, I'm afraid I can't add a new mission. You know what to do, Snake. No, I don't. <laughs> well, I do. But, I don't. I mean... Okay, so I'm gonna explain exactly how to unlock this mission. Because I've had first-hand experience about what exactly you need to do in order to unlock it. Um... Yes, people are defecting from my, my mother base. Uh... Because... I don't have anyone... I've, I've been keeping people in the waiting room just in case, like, I needed people, but now that I don't... All of you are going to go... Including possibly someone in the sick bay. So someone in, oh god, there's a lot of people here. Yeah, all of you... All of you people... There you go. Get the hell off my mother base. You are fired. That's better. Alright, that's not everyone. Someone in the sick boy. Tasmanian devil! Get out, sick boy. You are fired. That everyone now? Yep, just the just the uniques that I can't kick out. Alright, so yeah, because uh, you know, until this point, well until the last episode, we've been playing this game with no mother base support whatsoever. I mean that the last few episodes I was using mother base because I was trying to preempt, you know, this long drawn out process, but what I did actually didn't do anything. So here's what you have to do. Let's assume, right, that you have finished the final Sadornov mission, so, uh, what, mission six, <clears throat> and you've never put anyone into the mother base and you don't have, like, any parts of Metal Gear Zink. This is what you need to do. First of all, well not first of all, but one of the things you need is a fully completed Metal Gear Zink. Now, uh, in order to this, you need to have the walk, power, leg, and head parts, um, and you need the railgun, which can be collected from, uh, Chrysalis, if you just farm, farm him. All the other parts, I think you can get from everyone, but you could always do each of them equally. I think I think you can get if you just if you don't have the the railgun, I would recommend just farming chrysalis. And then if you have the railgun, well, you can keep doing chrysalis. Although I hate that battle, so you could do any other any other mission. Um, I did recently do uh, a co-op battle. Um, because so I was trying to, you know, just get through, well, I was, there was some tactics and I was trying to do that didn't exactly work in my favour, but, um, I did do a Peace Walker Battle, I think it was Peace Walker Battle 2, and I got some extra scrap, and an extra power, I think, okay, it's so gonna give shit, it's not important right now, and I got some extra AI stuff, but it doesn't actually matter, I've got practically no AI things, but I don't think it actually matters for this next battle anyway, so, that doesn't matter, anyway. But I think I did make it a little bit more powerful, which is going to affect me in the in the next battle. But whatever. So anyway, once you got Zeke all done, and in order to build Zeke, uh, if you've been watching my videos, you know you do need to put Huey. You didn't. We didn't have to put Strange Love in, did we? No, you have to put Huey in uh, the R and D department for one bat for like one mission, and that's it. You can kick him out afterwards. <laughs> Um, okay, now the other thing is Mother Base. Now, I was looking at wikis and they were saying that you have to put, you have to have an Intel team of 40, 
and do 13 battles and that will unlock the second plant and then that's all you need. That's not entirely true. I found a really, really useful guide uh, on, on a Metal Gear Solid forum. Matt, I'm going to explain what you... Let's say you have your mother base is what it was in my last episode, which is the mother base at the very beginning, which is just the three, the three square plants, and that's it. Here's what you need to do. You need to put enough people in R&D to get yourself up to level 40. Um, you also need... GMP. I don't know exactly how much GMP you need. I was pretty much putting as much GMP as I could in. Right? Now, if you're not doing stupid, uh, like, um, challenges like I am with the no mother base thing, logic would have that you would have someone in mess hall to keep the morale up so people don't quit out, and maybe a medical team if people go into uh, that. You don't need anyone in intel at the moment. Then what you need to do is you need to do missions. And every now and again, you can check here, and the command center, which starts at level 1, uh, will slowly, the progress bar will slowly increase as you do missions, as long as you have level 40 R&D. Then it gets to level 1. What happens at level 1? Uh, you get a new plant, and then at level 2, I forget what happens, then there's level 3, and then at some point, they uh, Miller starts talking about converting the whole plant into hexagonal things. And then blah blah blah, when you get to level 6, you no longer need anyone in R&D. Right? And you no longer need GMP, as far as I'm aware either. Uh, and then, instead of it just being this one command center, you'll have these four things that can rank up. Then you need to get mission support to rank 2. To do that, this is where level 40 for um, Intel comes in. So you get level 40 Intel, you do, well, the guide said approximately 13 missions. I don't know exactly how many you need to do, but you do enough to get to rank 2. When you get to rank 1, uh, so when you, when you get, when you're at rank 6 for the command center, your, your mother base will be those three at the top, and this, well, basically what you're seeing, what you're seeing on the screen right now, right? Then... When you get rank 1 in mission support, I think the very bottom uh, hexagonal uh, on the screen right now uh, will appear, and then when you get to rank 2, the one on the right also appears. This is the bare minimum you need for this battle. Now, if I were to actually rank up mission support even more, um, what am I doing? Then there would be more hexagonals, and I think that the third hexagonal is another missile silo, and then you can, I think you can have a total of four. The one on the right is a supply catapult, and the one on the left is a missile silo that you use to fight Zeke with. Uh, now just to, just to check, my, I don't have any mechs, no, I had collected some, but then I, I just destroyed them all. My support data is at zero, my support rank is at zero, whatever because I kicked everyone out. Now, there's only one downside to this. My playthrough so far has been to not put anyone into R&D, to, not, to on, only be able to collect my own weapons. Now, two things have happened. One is I have done a couple of co-ops, and I was trying to gift stuff. Do I have any presents? No. I've been trying to gift stuff to people to get rid of excess, like armor and like um, ammunition and stuff but then so, some guy gave me a whole bunch of shit like um some cardboard boxes and and a stealth mat and as long as if you have at least one of them even if you haven't researched it if you have an R&D uh, ranking that you need to research to get to build more then you will just build more I guess you can just reverse engineer it what that means is and, and that coupled with the fact that I've had people in R&D for so many missions, is I've got a whole bunch of ammo. I don't have any law ammo, because I threw it all away. Well, I gifted it all away. But every, all these other ones, like, I wanted to, I made a, 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 a note of how many, how much ammunition I had for each gun. And I was going to gift stuff out. Unfortunately, I have so much, the bullets aren't really the problem. 
the big problem is, um, like rations. You can only like gift four rations at a time. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just not going to do that. There's one downside to this, honestly, because I can just not. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do this battle with the lore, the machine gun, um, uh, the strike thingy, and rations, and that's all. Just to give it, just to, so that there's no confusion. Um, but what's going to happen is if I do supply drops, it'll sometimes give me claymores, or it might give me this, or it might give me it might give me grenades, that's the other one that I don't want. But it's going to give me these things. It might even give me uh, healing items as well. But I'm not going to use them. I'm going to throw them away or I'm just going to leave them in my inventory um, and just never use them. That's it. That's the end of this discussion. Alright. In fact, what you actually should do is rather than not have empty spaces in your inventory, pack up your inventory with stuff so that you don't it doesn't drop it. Hmm. It's not a bad idea. <coughs> well, anyway. Let's do the battle. Alright. So, that being said, well, the battle isn't actually unlocked yet. Oh, God. It's fine, right? Because I just fired everyone. It's okay, don't worry about it. I'm sure it's okay. Anyway, to do the final mission... Once you've done all those things and you get that mission, that call from um, Kaz, you go to Extra Ops Level 1. Um, and I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter what you lay you. See, I was going to do this. I'm not going to sneak in, I'm going to do battle. So. So I don't want, I don't want Mark 2 either. No, we'll just don't, just don't equip it. Because you want to be battle, right? Yeah. So if I do MP mags, um, I don't have any Fulton mines. God, if I'd left myself one, then I could have equipped it. Obviously not used it. Well, it would have been useless against Zeke anyway. Um, uh, uh, how many super mags do you have? I have no idea. Let's equip these things anyway. And the claymores. Dude, getting grenades would be slightly more useful than getting any of this other shit. Alright. Well, it depends. Hang on, I, can I... Sorry, I just need to... I need to talk to me. If you could gift enough magazines that you've only got one left or whatever, then I'm down for that. And claymores, but I know for a fact you have like 20, you have like 2,600 claymores. Correct. Alright. And I don't want, I don't want claymores. I don't want them giving me freaking claymores. Show me, um... Um... What do you want to know? I want to know about, um... Magazine, oh god, I'm way too many of them. But I don't think they'll, they won't drop. You reckon? I reckon they won't drop. Okay, well... Yeah, okay, oh, yeah, alright. <laughs> I'll believe you. That's the wrong one. Oh, shit, you're right. <laughs> yep. That's so... So, well, equip grenades, because you might as well. Well, hang on, hang on. Okay, you, can, you only need three things. Empty mag. Super mag. And one more. Alright. We'll do grenades. Because you don't want, you don't want to give in your claymore, so they'll just be useless. Yeah, alright. Alright. And then rations, obviously. Now, you can equip other stuff. Like the Sona, um, Fulton, because that they won't drop any more Fulton. You're right. A box of some description, like the Assassin's box. Um, yeah, you just equip all this shit. What, like the ID card and stuff? 
Don't equip the box, it's useless. Equip the ID card. And, um... Now, I know you can't take the Walkman into the battle. I don't need the binoculars or the camera. Just need one more thing to equip. You know what? Bring the camera. Bring the Walkman. No, because it'll... it'll No, bring the camera. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I'm good with this. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, whatever. We should actually do this in the next episode. Well, I've wasted so much time around it. Well, there's gonna be a cutscene and stuff, so we'll do this in the next episode. Alright. Uh, you can hear his voice now. Alright. How would you know that he's up there? Maybe you can get intel, or after a certain time they tell you. I don't know. I, I, I'm pretty sure I found out because I read it on the internet, but... The first time, I mean. Yeah. But anyway, for now, my name is Leo, and when we come back, we're gonna finally do the final battle. But for now, my name is Leo, and I'll see you next time.